York. He weighed in at a ready 218 pounds with a record of 45 wins, two losses. He has 39 big wins coming by way of knockout. The youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title. He is looking to exact his revenge and regain his championship tonight. Challenging for his third heavyweight crown. Here is the current WBA number one contender. Can Holyfield be as good again? Can Tyson reignite the old flames? Last time, Holyfield refused to be intimidated. That stuff, he said, doesn't work with me. Tyson has 20 first round wins on his record. Here we go again. The rematch we've waited a long time to see. And from early on in the first contest, Holyfield sent out the message to Tyson that he wasn't going to be dominated. Tyson looking to let go with that left hook. Are we going to see Tyson get off with the old four-punch combinations that were a feature of his work in his heyday? Mills Lane very quickly establishing his control. I think that's something he's got to do. He doesn't want it to, to tangle. He doesn't want them to get him too involved and be a physical fight. He wants to, to get him to break cleanly straight from the off. There was a lot of holding and spoiling in the first fight in the early rounds anyway and that was how Holyfield managed to just foil a lot of Tyson's work and then he dominated on the outside in that first fight Holyfield seemed to be armor plated against Tyson's power from the Tyson camp have said they're trying to get Tyson to start throwing combinations to throw his punches in clusters like he didn't do in the first fight but is he going to find the jab which was always so good in his early career he threw everything off the jab powerful weapon he's got to find that there's tight holyfield again making tyson miss and hitting it with a right hand counter that was a feature of their first battle there he is again with the right hand 
Holyfield is such a good technician. Very early stages, but Holyfield looks very physically strong. He looks more intent to take the fight to Tyson. Holyfield says his motivation is to make sure everyone knows that the first result was no fluke. Gets him with two. Good punches to the head. Tyson has got his gloves held pretty high. I'm not sure they landed flush. But the more positive start has come from Evander Holyfield. This is really taking the fight to Tyson. Is he overconfident? Is he going to walk on to something? That is always the danger when you're talking about Tyson's mega power. If it was a popularity contest in here, in any case, Holyfield would have already won. Massive chance ringing around the arena for him, and they can hardly hear a bell that goes to end the first round, which I believe Holyfield did enough to win. Yes, that was his round. He was, he was pushing Tyson back. I think he knows that if he pushes Tyson onto the back foot, Tyson can't work effectively. But Tyson did not come out, as many of us thought, really fast and with Stay guns with blazing. Jab. Stay with the jab, doing your stiff jab is good. I want you now jab for the throw. Jab you for the throw. You're moving good. Keep off the center. Keep moving and punch. You got to punch. No wait on it. The voice of Richie Giacchetti, who's back in the Tyson corner. And he was asking him to jab. That's what he has to do. Tell him to jab for the throw, which really hurts an opponent. They can't do anything when they're winded with a punch like that. You just wonder what mental scars have been left in Tyson's mind from the first battle. It was a good shot Holyfield landed in that first round. Here's round two. It's due, of course, to go 12 rounds. Still no sign of that Tyson jab. Tyson already complained a little bit to the referee there. Cut has opened oh. already. He's got a cut, and this time it's by the right eye. There was a clash of heads there. Now then, does the referee see that as an accidental or deliberate clash of heads? That's what we need to know. It has to go four completed rounds under the rules otherwise it could possibly be declared a no contest we hope that doesn't happen Tyson dabs away at the cut he was cut remember in training for this fight he was cut in the first battle between these two do you think this is where doubts are going to come into Tyson's mind he hasn't started that well already he's got a cut and again, he's looking at the referee and complaining. But this is interesting because, of course, the Tyson camp protested about the original choice of referee Mitch Halpin. And Tyson now wants some help from Mills Lane, but is he giving distress signals out? Well, it looks to be, but very interesting that Tyson has been bullied in there. Holyfield really taking the fight to him. Some damage by that right eye. But Tyson, he did get in with the right hand. Holyfield superbly conditioned on him. He's got three gears hard, harder and hardest, they say. And that's the way he'll fight. This is a man, remember, who fought for 13 years for nothing, Evander Holyfield. Never mind he's got $150 million out of his business in his bank account. He relishes the battle. He has amazing will. And he's taken control early here against Tyson, who so far has looked flat and distressed. It's getting rough in there. Mills Lane just taking the time out, having a talk to him. We're starting to wrestle and pull about in there. There's Tyson using his jab. Yeah. 
Glenn, you get the impression at this stage that Tyson needs the morale booster of a punch that maybe just wobbles Holyfield a, a little, puts a dent in him. Yes, he needs to get something that the cut looks as if it's getting worse. He's just not getting his punches off. And when Holyfield starts, he's getting off first. It's all a, a little bit too messy in this round. But Holyfield much the stronger. Two rounds gone. Tyson does not look a happy man. He's got a cut to the right eye. In the first fight, it was a cut to the left eye. Now, how bad is that? It looked bad. It looked to be bleeding quite a bit. And there you hear a little yelp as they pushed to try and close that cut. The only way you can close the cut, you need the adrenaline. You've got to, you've got to put pressure on. Now he's trying to push Ricky Giacchetti out the way. You can see Tyson now shouting to the referees, not happy. He feels that Holyfield butted him. Yes, it looked as if that's what that's what he was trying to say there. The heads did come close there. That could well have been the, the top of Holyfield's head, but I don't think it was deliberate. He was he was trying to, to load up for a left hook. The situation here is if the fight has to be stopped because of that cut and it's deemed accidental, before four rounds, it will be a technical draw or no contest. After that, they go to the scorecards. Now, Tyson goes for it at the beginning of round three. Listen to the crowd. Suddenly, Tyson catches fire. Well, this is where Tyson has to show character if he can regain the title. He's coming out full of aggression in this round, but what answers has Holyfield got? Can Tyson sustain that aggression, though? A lot of people say about Holyfield, well, he doesn't produce good performances twice running. Only a glancing blow with the left hook from Holyfield. <laughs> Again, a little bit of rough stuff inside. Tyson just trying to use the forearm there, pushing Holyfield off with the forearm. Good right hand from Tyson. He's done better in this third round. Is he just beginning to warm to the task a little more? Holyfield says Tyson had better hope that he can produce a better performance because he knows the last one wasn't good enough against me. Look at that from Holyfield. That was good. Mixing it up well there. In the first fight, he threw good body punches. Holyfield that landed. Right hand from Tyson, looked a great shot, but Holyfield just sucked it up again. This man, whose wife is a specialist in pain management. But this has been a, a much better round for Tyson. He's getting off first, he's landing with effective punches. Oh, and some nasty stuff in there. There needs to be a bite almost. Holyfield is very unhappy, look at this! It looked as if Tyson bared his teeth at one stage in the exchange. Yes, bit I think ear. he bit his ear, that's what Holyfield was in a lot of pain from that. You see the blood on the ear, that was definitely a bite. Well, feelings are running very, very hot indeed in there. Holyfield was outraged by that. Now, what is the referee going to do about that? One point deduction for Tyson. One point deducted from Mike Tyson for biting Holyfield's ear. Now, let's take a look again. Yes, it's, it's just here. He gets into the position there. Watch. You see, he stares there. There he bites him there, you see him lift his teeth. 
and Holyfield in agony at that point, trying to rip free in a, an awful lot of pain. Well, this is getting like a street fight. It'll take more than that to stop Holyfield going on, but we have all kinds of chaos. Mark Ratner is there, the Nevada commissioner on the far side. We've got the doctor in the ring as well. <laughs> this is only round three. What next? Now, could Tyson even be disqualified? I'm sure that possibility is very, very real. Should he be disqualified? Well, it was blatant. I mean, it, it was a terrible thing to do. And there was an awful lot of blood there. It looked a really bad injury. Well, after all the build-up this fight has had and all the money it's generating around the world, it would take a brave referee to end it by disqualification at this point. But we've had a long, long break here and a lot of discussion going on. But I think the fight is going to continue. And this is where Holyfield will need that pain management that his wife is a doctor in, because he must be in pain from that. Well, this is a real grudge match now. And Tyson again looks as if he was about to have another fight. Holyfield is furious. Tyson clearly feels he needs to do something to rock Holyfield's composure. But he's really going a long, long way beyond the Queensbury rules in doing it. Holyfield's talking to him now. Well, that was an extraordinary round. It was an outrageous foul by Tyson, really. It was terrible. It showed the real brute, the beast that, that he is. And I think you know, this is a sword and you shouldn't ever have to revert to that, especially in this level of boxing. You're really short for what he is. I mean, that was terrible to do that to a sportsman like Holyfield. And there he is. He really sunk his teeth in there. Well, the crowd are booing because they've just seen the slow motion on the big screen. Now what's going on in the ring? There seems to be some kind of altercation going on. It looks like he could have been disqualified, the fight could be over. Certainly the, the Holyfield camp had their arms in the air at one point there, and everybody jumped into the ring. We have confusion here at the moment about what exactly has happened. Holyfield's camp threw their arms off. Now we've got a fight going on in the ring. Between Tyson. Various camp. Tyson wants to join in with it. Oh, and this is getting totally out of control now. Tyson is the one who started it, and he's the one who's furious. He's the one that's causing all the problems. He's trying to get at Holyfield here. And I wonder whether this fight will be able to go on after all of this. I don't think it can. I think that Tyson may well have been disqualified. These are sad and ugly scenes. We have had no official announcement, but certainly Holyfield and his camp believe that they have won the fight. We await clarification. Tyson certainly wanted to continue the argument and look to be engaging some of the Holyfield camp followers in a separate fight. If he was the one, he was trying to get at Holyfield at that point. And I think there was people trying to stop him and it, it all broke loose. But he was the one that was out of control. Look at the injury here. That's a, a terrible injury to the ear. Well, it looks like a bit of the ear has been absolutely bitten off, doesn't it? It does. It looks like he took a chunk out there. And there he took a second bite, as I thought. He bared his teeth again. And I think for that second bite, Mills Lane has been left with no alternative but to disqualify Mike Tyson. 
although we await an official announcement. But if you look at the, the injury to Tyson, he's got a terrible cut on his right eye, which you know, I don't think he'd have been, a, he'd have went on too long after that. I think that maybe have been the, the panic setting in to Tyson, knowing he's on the verge of defeat. Well, now there are microphones going on in the ring. For the fans who paid up to $1,500 and some of them more in the black market to see this have seen a very sorry spectacle. It is over. Holyfield is leaving the ring. Well, the first fight was a classic. The second fight we were so excited about, but it has ended in the most controversial sad and sorry circumstances nobody's been disqualified in a heavyweight title fight for more than 50 years joe lewis against buddy bear we think we're checking the records that's terrible isn't it glenn it really is. Uh, that was against uh, you know, a great fighter like Holy Fighter. He, 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 he will not want to win the fight like that. He will want to beat Tyson fair and square. And I think really all Tyson did was not allow that to happen. It was terrible. It showed the, a brute, an animal in Tyson. You know, he couldn't win fairly, so he had to try and do that. Not only beat Holyfield once, he did it a second time. Mills Lane dropped it in at the last minute. Second foul. I told him, do not do that again. If you do, you're gone. So he could have continued. The physical condition of Evander Holyfield was such a view that he could have continued had he not disqualified Tyson. Well, I didn't ask the doctor. I didn't. I never. I never reached that point. I wasn't going to ask the doctor. That wasn't a question. That kind of foul would be. You got to take a. a, 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 a you got to take a position sometime, somewhere. That was it. Pandemonium breaking out here as Mike Tyson is leaving the ring and we'll continue with Mills Lang as you see people getting knocked over our camera goes down Mills let me continue here Mike Tyson's people and Tyson are going to say I'm sure you didn't call a foul on the headbutt which caused the eye and this could have been a retaliation by Tyson I, I called it a butt an but you didn't take a point an unintentional butt you don't take a point an unintentional butt unless it's occurred the second time an unintentional butt if he, if he goes, if, if he fights off, he goes to the scorecards after four rounds. There's a difference between an unintentional butt and a bite. Do you feel as though that's what Tyson was doing, however, that I, he was retaliating? I do not know. You'll have to ask him. I don't speculate. I do not know the answer to that. Obviously, disappointment, Mill. Got to be disappointing for you for have, to have it come to a conclusion like this as well. You know, you do. You play the hand you dealt and do the best you can with the cards. That's all I can tell you. All right, Mills Lane. Thank you for your time. Well, how ironic that Mills Lane, the referee brought in after the Tyson camp protested about the original choice, Mitch Halpin, is the referee who has disqualified Mike Tyson. This is, uh, well, it's another sensational ending in its own way, but a sensation we did not want. No, really, it, it, you can't describe it. I mean, the people who have paid an awful lot of money, it's a massive, massive event, and Mike Tyson has, has spoiled it all. You know, and showed himself to be a terrible character in there, a character that doesn't belong in this profession. You know, a real uh, a beast who shouldn't be allowed to box. It was a, a terrible thing he did. Yes, he looked, didn't he, like a spoilt bully who couldn't have his own way in there. Holyfield had dominated him largely, and he'd taken a few punches that Tyson had thrown at the start of the third round. They hadn't made a dent either, so in he went with the teeth. That was, right. you summed it up there, you, know, you summed up the reactions of a bully who just doesn't get his own way and has to do something like that. Holyfield, let me tell you, and we still await an official announcement by the way, has retained the WBA Heavyweight Championship on a disqualification. In an amazing third round. There have been one or two scuffles breaking out, not very many, I'm pleased to tell you, and they're now under control among the big crowd here as well, among the more volatile of the uh, rival supporters.
Holyfield has gone off in absolute disgust. You're, you're right what you say, Glenn. He would not have wanted to retain the title in that, in that fashion at all. He would have wanted to go on and prove conclusively his domination of Tyson. Well, you saw his reaction after the first one. He was ready to go on. I mean, it was, the first one was terrible. And yet he, he still would have went on and really bad. In, uh, it looked like a chunk out of his ear. And yet he was ready to go on again. And he's, he's a warrior. You know, he's a fighter. He knows there's rough stuff. But, I mean, that was just really far beyond anything that, sh that should go on. You know, and really, he, he doesn't belong in this profession. Well, absolutely extraordinary. Of all the scenarios we thought of this week, all right, Evander Holyfield, two bites on each, each side, one piece is missing out of here, your plastic surgeon said. Your reaction? Well, first of all, I had to give praise to the Lord. Uh, you know, Jesus Lord, you know, uh, he's still the champion, he still get the glory. And, uh, you know, the things that happened, it didn't have to happen. Uh, you know, you know, I was beating him, and, you know, he spit out of my feet and bit me in the ear. Is that the act of a crazed man? Because to beat you twice, I mean, to bite you twice is a little crazy. Well, you know, the whole thing is that, you know, you know, in the first one, you know, my corner, uh, you know, told me to uh, just keep cool. And, I, you know, I, I, I thought about that, you know, a distraction would happen and, I, and, and it's props have told me to, you know, just, you know, just breathe deep and just concentrate on Jesus. And I went back out there again and I caught him with a good shot and he bit my ear on purpose again. But how can he bite your ear with a mouthpiece? You spit it out he, in the he, he spit the mouthpiece out. He spit the mouthpiece out and, and, and bit me on the ear for the last time. You know, the whole thing is that, the whole thing is that, you know, really, the only chance that he thought he could is just to go, the whole thing is that, you know, the whole thing is my ear bleeding and, uh, and this guy continued to foul. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that we have a referee like Neil Lane see the situation that this thing is in tension. And, you know, it's just, it's just amazed when... Would this, would this rule out uh, a rematch? It's stupid to ask you right now for a rematch. This guy went and lost his marble. Well, is, is, is a rematch possible, or are you so mad you wouldn't even think about it? Well, that? you know, the whole thing is that, you know, I have to concentrate and I have to think, you know, I have to think about the situation. But the big thing is to, to you know, a rules and regulation, mandatory things. Uh, but the rules, you got to understand when a person deliberately bites you constantly and, try, and trying to and trying to break my arm and so, you know, in the corner, he's just doing illegal taxes. You know, meal lanes, so you don't break. You know, the whole thing is that um, this is the easy way to get out of the fight, the foul, because you know you're going to get disqualified instead of fighting through. I'm saying that don't show no courage whatsoever. Everybody know how to get out of the fight. All you have to do is foul. You'll get yourself out, then you can say, well, he didn't beat you. Would you say this is the act of a desperate man? Would you say he was desperate in there? That, is that the word, you think, to cause the guy to do something so unusual? Well, yes, the whole thing is that, you know, I, I truly believe that Fear, fear, fear itself calls people to do the easy thing, the quickest thing to get out. I'm saying the whole thing is that we in a fight already. So what, why do you have to bite somebody? If you feel that you can whoop me, why you can't whoop me with the gloves on? Well, this is a boxing match. This is not a, a, a rumble. And when, when, when the fight is over, then you get brave and you really want to fight. I'm saying, you know, you know, you had a chance to fight. You know, why you got to bite on my hip? The whole thing is that, you know, it, it, it's not real. You know, the whole thing is that, I just give praise to the Lord that it is not worse than it is. I thought my ear had fell off. Well, your plastic surgeon here says a piece is missing out of your ear, which means you'll have to have a plastic repair. And either either ear, since the human bites are so dangerous, have to be taken care of tonight at the hospital. I look forward to the hospital. Good thing right. I got a doctor. All right. Bill Lane disqualifies Mike Tyson for biting Evander Holyfield in both ears. The winner by way of disqualification and still the WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Well, I hate to say it, but it was a coward performance that by Tyson. You're going to get people now talking about a third match between these two. In my view, Tyson does not deserve one. He certainly doesn't. For me, he does not deserve to be back in the ring.